Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we have seen a uh, Moto E4 leak few days back, and again from the EV leaks, so we got the new leak for the Moto C and the C Plus. So this is the first time uh, Lenovo owned Motorola is launching uh, one of the least affordable, you can say, their lowest model phone. So uh, according to the company, actually they are targeting for the first time mobile smartphone user. That means either they are using a feature phone or they wanted to switch to a smartphone or they are the first time user who wanted to experience a mobile phone. Maybe you know uh, people from the old age or a very small kid you know who has the passionate for the mobile phone. So anyway guys let's talk about the specs and leaks. So it is still in the leaks. It's not yet confirmed uh, whether it is uh, when the device will come or whether it's true or not. But I guess uh, it is going to uh, true because most of them's leaks are going to true nowadays. So. We have two devices, C and C Plus, and both of devices are having the same color. Uh, uh, you will get this black, white, gold, and red. Both will having the five-inch display, but internals and the battery capacity is very different. Let's start with the Moto C. So you're going to get a FW VGA, uh, that is 854 by 480 display, and there will be two variant of the Moto C. One is 3G model, one is 4G model. The 3G model is coming with 1.3 gigahertz uh, quad-core processor, and the 4G is coming 1.1 gigahertz. Since 64 gigabits uh, phones are working slightly faster, so you're going to get uh, this uh, lower uh, powered processor. Anyway guys, there's also leaks uh, about the Snapdragon processor inside, but they are uh, MediaTek, they are not Snapdragon because Snapdragon processors are going to take little bit cost and that's why companies uh, will not do that thing on here. So uh, you have only one uh, gigabytes RAM option, 8 gigabytes, oblique 16 gigabytes internal storage. So not sure whether it is location dependent or 3G 4G model dependent but I am guessing that should be a 3G 4G model dependent and you will have the expandable storage and dual sim option and it will be coming with the Android Nougat that is a plus point guys because I haven't seen any you know lowest lower devices right now which are launched with Android Nougat they all are coming with the Android Marginal even I have seen some devices they came with the Android uh, Lollipop too such a shame guys the company should not do that thing at least you know, all the Android should deserve at least the latest flagship that they are running. Anyways, talking about the camera, so it is a bit disappointing here. As far as I said, it is a low-end device, so do not expect more. So you're going to get a 5 megapixel a back side, but only a 12, 2 megapixel front side. So you have a 4G and Bulti support. Uh, the 4G phone will have 4G. That means you can use Reliance Geo on that one. So talking about the battery, the Moto C is coming with a 2350 mAh battery. It's just, just leaks. There's no yet confirmation. Uh, there should not be more than 2500 uh, mAh. And you guys talking about the Moto C Plus. So uh, it will again have a 5 inch display asset, but it will be HD that is 720p. And it is running the same 1.3 GHz 64 bit quad core processor, which is again more than 64 bit of the Moto C. It is again MediaTek. And it will have 2 gigabytes of RAM compared to 1 gigabytes of the Moto C. So I guess there should be a difference of 2000 at least uh, price difference because they are increasing the RAM and everything. And you will have 16 gigabytes storage option only. And dual SIM and right you got 8 megapixel back camera rear that is little bit enhanced. But according to Dean it should be 2 megapixel front and I am not hoping more than that. Even though I am just hoping for the 5 too. So uh, uh, you will have LED flash, it's again 4G, both e compatible and you have the 4000 milliamps battery. So that is a, a catching point here. Now the biggest thing to check here, how much is the price difference compared to the Moto C range versus the Moto E range. If definitely the uh, difference is near to 1000 only, you should be going for the Moto E devices. So both devices are still in the rumor. We have to check out like uh, when they are going to announce, when they are going to launch. Anyway guys, I will give you guys updated as soon as we have any new leaks. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next video. Have a great day.